Today we're going to be replacing the plastic Y pipe on a 2008 Chrysler Town & Country. The procedure is the same for 2008 through 2010. And the pipe that we're going to be replacing is right here. Right here there's a plastic pipe. It's connected by a rubber hose, and then right here there are, on the other side of the wire, there's a rubber hose here, rubber hose here, and then it's connected to the, down here with a hose clamp. We're going to take off this hose clamp, and then cut here and here, and I'll show you next what we're going to replace it with. Okay, so this is a kit you can order, and it comes with a aluminum Y pipe, a piece of hose, and three hose clamps. Four hose, four hose clamps here. I think I'm only going to use three though. Um, basically, this piece of hose is going to go on the inlet part and then I'm going to use the existing hoses, cut them off at the plastic Y and attach them to here. Let's see how it goes. The tools you're going to need are a pliers for that clamp, a screwdriver to put the new hose clamps on, and some kind of a cutting um, I like to use this to cut the hoses, but otherwise you can use a regular um, utility knife. Okay, first thing that I'm going to do is cut the, cut the hose. The top one. coming out but not too bad and then I'll cut the bottom one I'm not going to be able to show that too well so I'm going to turn the video off okay now they're both cut this is the, this is the lower one this is the upper one and I trimmed back some of this plastic here so that I can get a hose clamp on it. Now I'm going to take off this clamp underneath here and take that hose off. Okay, this is what it looks like when you take it off. Now we're going to put the new one on. So what I did is I Put it together here so that it's ready to go on. I might cut this down a little bit, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. Okay, this one's just a wee bit too long here, this hose. So I'm going to cut that off. So, now it's a little bit better compared to the old one. Still a little bit long maybe, but I'm going to check it out. I had the trim just a little bit more off. You should have about an inch and a half. Uh, two inches, I guess, from end to end on the hose. I'm going to put it on here. Okay, now here's the 
fully installed. There's the hose coming out of the engine. There's clamp, aluminum pipe, new hose clamps, and the exit that goes to the existing hoses. And it looks good. And you do not need to drain the radiator, there wasn't that much that came out. But don't take the cap off, because once you take the cap off, then it all started coming out. So I'll leave the cap on. There you go. Good job.